Jumbo, you can see by the title, this is a quick recap of how we do Lewis structures for simple atoms and ions. And we have four examples we're going to attack right now. First one says barium. So when we look for barium, we find it right here in the periodic table, and we see it's group two. So there it is, Lewis structure, dots on separate sides, they cannot be on the same side. And when it becomes an ion, barium wants to lose two electrons to be like krypton. And so we write down Ba, it's a metal, and it loses those two outer electrons and has a two plus charge, square brackets, charge. We look at something we like to sprinkle on our breakfast, a little bit of arsenic, and we see arsenic is in group 5. So, we go and we put a dot on four sides of the arsenic. And then we have to pair off one. doesn't matter which one we pair off. But we should end up with a lone pair and three bonding electrons. It's a non-metal. So it is going to gain three electrons to have its octet. since it gained three carls, three negatives, square brackets, three minus charge. Tellurium, an interesting chemical that can make you smell like rotten eggs if you ingest a very small amount of it. Group six. So we put in our TE right here, and we go one, two, three, four, dot on four sides, and we pair off two. So we get two lone pairs, two bonding electrons. And it's a non-metal as well. So we add two. We're adding two negatives. So it's two minus. Krypton from the Bruins family. Well, Krypton we know is a noble gas. Group eight. So we put in our eight dots like so. And then we remind ourselves, does not form ions. It's happy the way it is. It does not need to change. So that's a quick recap. This stuff should be easy by this point. If it's not, do something about it.